Well, let me just say with the debate, it was not Lincoln Douglas. And second, with regard to the uh, white supremacy issue, I want to associate myself with the remarks of Senator Tim Scott that he put out earlier today. I think he said it exactly correctly, and that's exactly how I would express myself on that issue. What are those, re what are those remarks? Can you, can you explain what Tim Scott said that you endorse? Yeah, he said it was unacceptable not to condemn white supremacists. And so I do so in the strongest possible way. Well, I, I've made it clear, and my colleagues have as well, that we would like to see another rescue package. Um, we actually had a vote on one that included, by the way, coverage for pre-existing conditions just a few weeks ago. Uh, every single Democrat prevented us from moving forward with that bill, presumably because they thought it didn't do enough. So what we see from the speaker is another massive measure that includes such things as health care for illegal immigrants, tax cuts for rich people in New York and California, and other things that are <clears throat> totally unrelated uh, to the coronavirus. So I think it's safe to say we're far apart. I think uh, Secretary Mnuchin and the speaker are continuing to speak but we're very, very far apart. You, you see some Everybody's been saying it, but this is an extraordinary, extraordinarily impressive uh, woman with an outstanding academic record, uh, a strict constructionist who believes in applying the Constitution and the laws as they're written, and um, well deserves uh, to be on the Supreme Court. I hope the one thing that they will leave alone uh, are her faith and her family. I see some of these tacks already, and that really is uh, beneath, and uh, that's something that uh, nobody uh, ought to tolerate uh, for any nominee, and I hope that she will certainly, um, as people evaluate her, they'll do it on her record, her accomplishments, and her qualifications, and, uh, and not that.